Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katerina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be my March favorites, so let's get started. I hope you guys all had an amazing month of March. March was a really good makeup month for me. I discovered a lot of new products that I haven't tried before, and they waddled their way they made it into my monthly favorites. Also, let's address the elephant in the room. Um, you guys might be watching this video and be like, is she back in Colorado? Because this background, I changed it up, and if you follow me on Snapchat, um, I took you guys through kind of me reorganizing my beauty space area. I just feel like uh, the lighting I like a lot better. It's able to bounce everywhere, um, and I just feel like I'm utilizing the space a lot better in here. But okay, let's jump right into the favorites. I'm going to start with what is on my lips because Girlfriend is obsessed with this lip color. This is actually a combination of two different lip products um, and I'm just obsessed. This is my new favorite lip combination. It's just perfect and these are the City Color Creamy Lips. I've been wanting to get my hands on these for so long. You're probably going to see quite a few City Color Cosmetics products in here because I placed a huge order um, a couple of weeks ago and I've been trying out the stuff and quite a few of the products made it into my monthly favorites. Everything on their site is so affordable. I cannot get enough of them and yeah, these are no exception. These are the creamy lips. I'm wearing the shades, what is Triple Berry Spritzer and also Lavender Drop. These just remind me of cocktails in the summertime. Um, so Lavender Drop is that perfect kind of like mauve tea rose shade, which you guys know. That's right up my alley. I love it. And then Triple Berry Spritzer I thought was going to be like a... Um, more true mauve but it has some nice brown in there too oh my gosh these are probably the most comfortable lip products lip formula that I have ever tried they kind of remind me of the um, NYX soft matte lip creams but I like these more they almost give like a matte effect they almost look matte but they are so creamy they are very thin but creamy and pigmented like you guys saw here just one swipe I can't say enough good things about them. Going along with lip products, I did want to mention the Clean Color Madly Matte Lip Gloss line. I recently did a video on 10 shades. I bought them off shopmissa.com. They are $1 each. And this one, of course, is my favorite. It's in the 1603. I believe this is the shade Royal. And no surprise here, it kind of reminds me of Trap from ColourPop, but these just feel very comfortable on the lips. They're a little bit sticky, but they're only a dollar, so highly recommend these. If you guys want to check out that video I did full lip swatches, I will pop it up here somewhere and also in the description box, but I just really love these. For foundation, you guessed it, I've really been loving the Milani, um, what is this, the Perfect Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I love this so much. My last video was a full review and demo on it if you guys want to check it out. But I'm obsessed. I mean, I did want to throw in here, because uh, you guys know the obsession is real with this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I still have to say, this is still my go-to foundation. And the reasons why is that it works for any day. Um, it can be, you know, applied very lightly for natural coverage. This controls my oil all day long, whereas this one does not do the best job at controlling my oil, but it looks amazing on the skin, and I can blot throughout the day, etc. But yeah, I've just been loving it. I have it on my face today. It just sits so beautifully on the skin. That's what I really love about it, is the way it looks on the skin and in photography. It's just gorgeous. Going along with face products, we have the NYX HD Concealer. This is kind of weird because if you guys have been following me for a while, you notice that I don't think this made it into my top five concealers the last time I did that video, which it's time to do an updated one. The reason why is I don't think I ever used enough of this. This is an interesting concealer. Um, obviously, I love it now because it's made it into my favorites. But I think before, I was not applying enough. It is a very water-based concealer. It's not creamy like the, um, you know, it's not like a cream concealer. It's very water-based, very thin and lightweight. So I think I was applying too little, so it wasn't really doing anything for my under eyes. Like, girlfriend, you can just apply this heavily. And that's kind of the way I really like to apply it. Blend it out with a dampened beauty sponge, beauty blender. It's a, it's a game changer. It's so good. Um, so I've been using this nonstop. This is my second bottle of it, and I'm almost done with this one. And I get mine in the shade CW03 because it has a very, very slight salmon undertone. But I think this is a wonderful concealer, and I do have it under, under my eyes today. I've just been wearing it every day since I started to kick it up. And continuing face products. This was honestly pretty surprising to me. This is a City Color B Matte Mineral Blot Powder. I did not expect to fall in love with this as much as I did. I think this was under like 3 or $4, and when I was making a huge order, I just kind of like threw it in the cart. I was like, oh, that could be interesting. 
I have not felt a powder this velvety smooth, I don't think ever. Um, the closest thing that might be the same texture would be the Too Faced Chocolate Slowly Bronzer. That is also quite velvety smooth. But even that, this is just the best feeling powder. Look. I do have it right now. Um, I use it to set my foundation, and it's what I have on right now. And it does a really good job at mattifying the skin, at filling in those pores, and, you know, increasing the longevity of your makeup. I quickly wanted to mention the nail polish, and I don't even know how many times I've mentioned this into a favorite, but it has been a continuous favorite of mine. This is the L'Oreal Paris Extraordinaire Gel Lac. It's a gel color, but you can just use it as normal, that's what I do. And it's in the shade Miss Lustrous 702. It is what I have on my nails right now. I get so many questions whenever I wear this, and it's just that perfect shade. It can be beautiful for spring, for summer, um, and you know, and transitioning into fall. It's just my perfect nail polish. I also do really like uh, the shade, a couple shades lighter than that. This is in the shade 600, Dotson's Nude. You guys have seen me wear this a lot as well, but... I wanted to mention this because I always get questions on it and it is still a favorite of mine. This is my most worn nail polish by far. This is the Aura Gold Cosmetics 24 Karat Sensitive Skin Eye Cream. Now I am trying out their whole line. I've been trying out their whole line for about a month now. Really, really loving it. But I have to say this is what has stood out to me the most out of their whole entire line. It does have 24 Karat Gold Flex in there. Um, and it just does wonders for the under eye area. It keeps it so hydrated but not greasy. It fills in those lines that I have because I have uh, one prominent line on both sides. Um, probably because I tug on my eyes more than I should, but this stuff is so good. I will be doing a updated kind of like nighttime skincare routine, and you'll probably see quite a few of these in there because I've been loving this skincare line, but I just wanted to shout this out because this is my favorite eye cream that I've ever tried so far. Then I did want to give a shout out to the Body Cology because it's that time of the year again where I whip this out. This has got to be, I think, like my fifth bottle of this. Um, this is the Body Cology Truly Yours Fragrance Mist. It reminds me so much of Love Spell by Victoria's Secret, but a little bit more florally, and it's a mist too, so it's not going to be, oh God, it's not going to be um, overpowering or anything like that. It is just such a sweet florally smell, and it's very feminine, very appropriate for this time of the year, and I just can't say enough good things about it. It's so affordable too. I think it's definitely under ten dollars. It's like seven ninety nine. I just pick mine up at like a Target, Walmart, Fred Meyer. And I just love it. This is a City Color CC Color Correcting Stick. And I wanted to mention this because this has been a lifesaver for me. If you guys suffer from um, acne or healing acne or acne scarring, this is going to be your best friend. This is great for counteracting redness. And out of nowhere, color correcting has become so huge lately. And there's, this stick is awesome. It is very, very pigmented. It is a lighter green color. And I did use it today because I do have some acne scarring just from having acne in the same spots over and over again throughout the years. And um, this has just been amazing. It's, again, super affordable. It's like $5.99. I wanted to throw it in here because it's a green concealer that I really love. And um, it's so affordable. And I've just been seeing how much color correcting is on trend. So if you want to try it out, they have awesome ones. They have an orange one. They have a purple one. They have a yellow one. I definitely want to get the other shades because I love it. And last thing that I wanted to talk about, and I'm excited about it, it's the City Color Timeless Beauty Palette. And I'm excited because when I placed my huge City Color order, I picked up one for you guys to do a giveaway. And I'll actually be doing my giveaway in my next video. So subscribe if you're not subscribed, that way you don't miss out on that video. I'll be doing a full in-depth review swatch video on this, and then a giveaway with the one that I bought as well. But I did want to shout it out in here because... It is just something else, you guys. It is so stunning. Um, you get three gorgeous highlighting shades, four beautiful matte blushes. The formula of these are outstanding. I do have this blush on my cheeks today. And then I have a mixture of this highlight and a different highlight for that pop. Love it so much. Like I said, you guys will see a lot more of this in my next video um, where I'll go really in-depth. But I wanted to shout it out because I love it. Alright guys, that completes my March favorites. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, maybe found some new things that you might want to try out. Let me know down below, what are some things that you've been loving for March? You guys, March? <laughs> you guys know I'm always looking for a new makeup to try. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! This is also a perfect match. Like you guys can see face to neck.
So there is one layer with foundation on, no foundation on. I don't know about you guys, but girlfriend can definitely see a difference here. Um, I love the consistency, and like you can also 